Madden 22 franchise mode, let's go! It seems like Madden 22 is the year that EA Sports finally started to take franchise mode seriously. We can see that as the first bit of info they've released about Madden 22 is on franchise mode. You guys have heard it from me, you've heard it from other people. Franchise mode has been completely revamped from top to bottom. As today, they've released the all access deep dive to actually show you the first bit of Madden 22 franchise gameplay. All new features, everything new about franchise mode in today's video. I haven't seen this yet, so we can react to it live and break down everything we see so you guys can see EA Sports is finally starting to take franchise mode seriously. Madden 22 is finally the year franchise mode takes a step in the right direction. And as of right now, it seems like EA Sports is trying their best for once not to let the franchise crowd down. So hopefully guys, do enjoy today's Madden 22 franchise gameplay first look reaction video. If you do, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up. Guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Trying to hit a million subs by the end of the year, so make sure to take that millisecond that does take to click that subscription button if you haven't. Let's try to hit that million mark by the end of the year. And with that said, warning, I do pause a lot. So uh, get used to me talking a lot and breaking down everything I do see. Now last thing, they did say there's more coming out throughout the week, so we'll probably have at least one more Madden 22 franchise video, at least by this week because apparently they haven't released everything just yet. We'll get more on that later in the week. But right now, excited for the Madden 22 franchise mode. First look gameplay, let's go! So that little opening is what you see at the beginning of like every franchise game now. Every exhibition game you play, you'll see that little cutscene intro with the quarterback walk on the field. Pretty cool. Hey everyone, Connor Dugan here. Senior Design Director on Madden NFL 22. I didn't know we were going to have people talking. His voice kind of scared me. It came out of nowhere. Super excited to be here with you today to share some of the awesome work our teams are doing. Specifically well, for really quick, I want to show you this because Derrick Henry, some. his arm is really small. Like Derrick Henry's arms, let's be serious, hasn't been that small since like 2010, since he was like in high school. And I will say, I'm confused because I think this gameplay might be like old gen that they're showing for whatever reason because or maybe they didn't want to show it off yet but his hair is not the same like they actually have his legit like ponytail now in the beta it looks actually realistic so that's why i'm wondering why they showed this because this is not what derrick henry looks like in madden 22 as of right now he actually has a legit freaking real life derrick henry ponytail awesome work our teams are doing specifically on franchise in madden 22 get ready because we're about to go deep some new franchise feature. There you are right there, the freaking new Super Bowl celebration. Finally, you guys can see it for the first time in like six years. I knew this actually was implemented in the Madden 22. I couldn't show it. I talked about it in a previous video. I've been able to see it. Let's just really quick so you guys can see a little sneak some new peek. new franchise features that we'll talk about today in the Of the franchise. Super Bowl celebration. It's about freaking time, dude. Staff and new staff points. The importance of weekly strategy and the integration of dynamic game day on next-gen consoles, an enhanced season engine, franchise hub updates, tuning, and more. With new franchise staff, you're in control of everything from the front office to the field. Franchise staff is meant to empower you to build, grow, and customize your coaching staff using a new RPG talent tree system. So you, you guys see, it's so dope. It's like the only thing I can say negative on this it's the fact that you literally can just fire your coordinator and just hire somebody immediately. Like, there's no, like, competition there. Like, it just it seems so simple that you're able just to fire your coach whenever you want to. And then there's just a list of guys you can hire. It does seem like that should be a little more in-depth. But as of right now, I mean, obviously, this is a huge dub right now. I love the talent trees. Like, you see a little tidbit here. This one's pliability. It increases the injury rating for all your defenders. And that right now is a problem because, like, in the beta... Players get injured a lot. So right now, this talent is huge off the get-go. There's a bunch more. They're you can so build a sick. team that fits your play style. There will be Another cool tidbit is you see like some of these cost like 10 points. Under the head coach skill tree, there are skills you can buy and unlock that make the rest of your coaching staff skill trees discounted. So like if I spend something on my head coach skill tree that allows for my offensive coordinator skill tree to be discounted like 20%, that means if I unlock that from now on, at the absolute most, everything I buy from the offensive coordinator skill tree would be like 8 points instead of 10. So I think that's super dope too. So I think this talent trees, the skill trees, has some work, has some tuning that needs to go down, but it's sick. More than 60 different talents to choose from at launch, with more to be added. You hear what he said? More than 60 to choose from at launch, 
So I'm totally assuming he used that phrasing pretty strategically because that probably means there's more like to come out in updates later throughout the year. We are Madden 22 franchise live service plan. Plus, the number one most requested improvement by our players to franchise is scouting. We're targeting September. So this is the stuff that we haven't seen. Not in the beta, not in any graphics. So this is my first time seeing this. The scouting is supposedly completely overhauled. As of right now, the current version of Madden 22, it's exactly the same as last year. Everything's exactly the same. The prospects like don't have a lot of superstar abilities. There's no good offensive linemen. Everything's exactly the same. That's because they've been working on this whole entire new scouting system that should be implemented in September. So it shouldn't be there at launch, but it should be out in September. And I'm excited to see what he's going to say because I've been wanting to see the whole new scouting breakdown. This is the first time we got to see it. Excited. For the release of scouting through a live service update. Madden 22's revamped scouting feature will allow you to manage and assign your scouting staff with all new national and regional scouts. That's actually so sick. It kind of reminds me of how it is in FIFA career mode. You literally assign somebody to wherever you want him to kind of break down the prospects in that region. So if you want Ted Davis to be a Western coach, you send them out to the Western region. They have positions they're experts in, so I'm sure they'll be able to scout those guys more accurately. So I love this. And regional scouts. We'll have a whole new and much more in-depth system. For so what is this? If we go back here, this is probably what the, the scouting hub is going to look like. So this is where you normally just click on a player and click like scout three times and you'd be able to see how good he's supposed to be. So completely revamped. And I think this looks a lot cleaner. System so for uncovering details about your prospects. So are you sure you want to focus on the following players to complete private workouts? So that's cool. So it's like you go to their pro days too. So the scouting looks like a massive like real dog. life. Players will move up and down the draft board all season long. We'll have more to share on scouting later in the summer. So I wonder what this is about. He said they're going to move up and down. So is that like just automatically? So if like you have a player initially on your board. Oh, there's mock drafts. Okay. So mock drafts. That's what this is. It's a mock draft. So like you'll be able to tell how good the players really are. Because if they keep moving up throughout the years in mock drafts, obviously that means they're a quality player that's getting better throughout the year. So I actually think this is so cool, having a freaking mock draft each and every year. And they'll be able to go up and down. That's so sick. Your franchise staff is made up of four positions. Head coach, an offensive and a defensive coordinator, and a player personnel department. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it's just fake coordinators. And I haven't played a franchise mode long enough to see if former players that have retired become coordinators and to see if you can like promote within and then hire former players like that would be dope but i haven't seen that yet i i don't think it is a thing because i feel like somebody would have leaked it by now but i haven't seen it and in terms of coordinators it's not the real coordinators because apparently they don't have the licensing for all the coordinators and it would be really hard to get it so that's why that's why it's fake coordinators as of right now hopefully maybe one day that'll change or if anything Give us the ability to edit all the coaches, like, at once. Like, edit the coaches just like you're editing a roster. So somebody could go out there just like they did an instant of play. That's why in instant of play, you have, like, even in instant of play 14 today, you have the real freaking offensive and defensive coordinators for each and every college because people could edit them. And that's not a feature in Madden, so hopefully they can fix that, though. That would kind of just completely just fix everything in terms of not having the actual licensing for all the coordinators. We probably wouldn't be able to get their faces made correctly, but we'd at least be able to have all the real coordinator names. Now, I bet you're wondering about those new staff points we mentioned at the top. Staff points can be earned weekly by setting goals, playing your games, and completing objectives. Then, you can use staff points to upgrade your staff through coach talents. So a lot of people thought this was like making franchise mode monetized. Like you would have to buy franchise staff points. That's not the case. You literally just unlock them like you unlock like XP. Once you complete challenges, you get more franchise staff points. The more you win, more points you get. Easy, right? Next up, weekly strategy and dynamic game day integration. Each week in the NFL presents a new challenge for players, coaches, teams, and fans. Weekly strategy in Madden 22 is designed to mimic the dynamic environment while offering you the chance to confront and overcome various challenges in different ways. What's really cool is the fact that you're able to change your game plan week to week. Like you're gonna have a different game plan against Tom Brady than you are against Lamar Jackson. And that's something we didn't have before that we have now. So you can implement that on a week to week basis and I think it's really cool. And then it's kind of glitchy right now in the current version, but if they can get it working to perfection, this is a great freaking feature. In essence, weekly strategy is really the core of your franchise experience. Who you play, where you play, and when you play all matter more than ever. 
Which makes sense because that's what coaches always preach, is you want to take it one week at a time, and that's what you're doing in franchise mode now. Next-gen stats and the dynamic game day integration, you'll be able to study your opponent's strengths and weaknesses with detailed statistical and play calling info. And that's another one. You can Manager. change, you can have halftime adjustments too. So if your game plan isn't working right, they're doing something you think they wouldn't have done and they're doing it to perfection, you can change that strategy at halftime. So once again, huge dub. Teams fatigue levels throughout the season by controlling practice intensity and reps between game days. Now, that's a problem right now, too, is the fact that that one's completely bugged. But it's a great concept. Hopefully, they, they can get it fixed by launch. I'm sure they will. As of right now, the player health screen and then, like, practice mode, like, uh, your players getting fatigued in practice mode is way too overpowered. Your players get fatigued way too easy and it affects their performance too much in the actual games. Plus, you can assess your first half performance, make adjustments at halftime, and come out of the locker room better prepared for the second half. Because when game day happens, you can never be too ready. Here are some additional details on what you can expect to see in weekly strategy. I don't know why they showed this after the fact. That's exactly what they just talked about. But I, I do think the weekly strategy, whole entire system, is a huge dub. They just got to get the kinks worked out. Everything they talked about so far and everything they're planning to do, I really feel like is a step in the right direction for franchise mode in general. NFL players, coaches, and GMs encounter a roller coaster of scenarios every day, every week, all season long. And the like I said, you have press conferences now that affect certain things, the way you answer them. Maybe you will demoralize a player, maybe boost their confidence, maybe give them like more XP for a certain position or a certain player, or maybe by the way you answer things, it gives you better staff points. I just, I just think, once again, huge dub. The more, the better. Season engine in Madden 22 was built to emulate these true to life ups and downs of the NFL. Now, I can say from experience, it does give me the face of the franchise vibes right off the bat for all the press conferences. It's like the same exact sort of cutscenes, but it's it's still a dope. You guys hear rain right now? I think it's because I'm in the middle of a tropical storm. Madden 22 will launch with over 35 scenarios and we'll add more as part of our continued franchise life service commitment. Once again, that's that's a huge dub to the fact they can add things like that throughout the season as long as they remain committed to do so because 35 scenarios like you just saw would seem fun, but after playing franchise mode over and over again, if you're an avid franchise fan, you would seem like those would get a little old, but as long as they stay committed to actually adding more throughout the season, if that's the case, people will never get freaking tired of franchise mode. There's always something different every time they update it. One example is the perfect chemistry scenario. During the season, an elite quarterback can trigger a tiered breakout for a young receiver. As the weeks go on, the challenges get tougher, but the rewards increase, giving you the chance to take a mid- I freaking told you guys. As the weeks go on, the challenges get tougher, but the rewards increase, giving you the chance to take a middling wide receiver and turn them into one of the league's rising stars. That's Scenario so cool too, because that happens in real life. Like, players you don't expect to become superstars become superstars, and that just doesn't happen in franchise mode because pretty much everything is predetermined in terms of ratings. Like, every player has a certain potential. Like, you don't ever really see a guy that comes in as an undrafted rookie that's like a 50-something or 60-something overall end up a 90-something in your franchise because he's just not projected to be that good. So if you have something like this, it kind of triggers a player that's kind of middle of the pack to you know, throughout different challenges you complete with your quarterback throughout the season, get better and can maybe up that development trait. That's another thing I think is huge. I think I really like that. Once again, it just keeps things fresh and keeps you from not having the same high overall players each and every freaking franchise 10 years in. Like this will allow you to experience more fun and engaging choices, goals, and challenges that lead to meaningful rewards in game. This expansive catalog of narrative-driven NFL content will start at launch and continue throughout the year, featuring new choices and challenges that are unique to each story with an impact on both your on-field gameplay as well as your off-field decision-making. We've also completely revamped the Franchise Hub to make the most important information about your franchise more accessible to you. Some of the updates you will see on the As new franchise. As you guys see, franchise hub. mode right here looks completely different. There's no coach in the background anymore. It was always glitched anyway. I always had a freaking iPad through his freaking body. That should have been rated M right there, not rated E anymore for Mad. Which I will say so far for me is taking a lot of getting used to, but I think it's better for sure. An activities list that displays what you need to do each week, your goals for the week, so you know what you need to accomplish to earn rewards an updated news screen that keeps you informed of the top stories and reactions from around the league, 
faster access to roster management screens like signing free agents, adjusting your depth chart, or trading for players. A league tab that surfaces more data to your league versus hunting for information in your stat screens and a member screen for your online franchise that is easily accessible. This win is a huge dub for me too. Now you can finally invite somebody as a team. So like if I have an online franchise with subscribers and the only team left, or maybe there's three teams left, maybe or all four teams of the AFC North is left. Maybe somebody wants to join as the Browns. I can literally invite them to my franchise as the Browns. That's cool, and this just looks so much cleaner, way easier to tell who's who in your franchise. This screen right here is going to be huge for managing your freaking online franchises with your friends. So that's really it. We do have more coming on Friday, but finally, for the first time, you guys got to see actual gameplay of franchise mode itself. And I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what you think so far. At least it doesn't seem like a complete stinker.